from my breast milk, I cannot make kheer and cheese, paneer, and so many other... I cannot make butter from the breast milk. And Krishna likes butter and all of these things very much. So Madhya Shoda put him down and went to save the milk so that she could give all these wonderful preparations to Krishna. Therefore, it is considered to be Uttama Bhakti. After that, Yashoda Maya told them to bring rope and she tried, but two on oh, if I'm fighting two on also. So when Madhya Yashoda, she ran after Krishna, quickly she caught him. Hmm? Hey, who has broken the pot? Oh, you have done it, Mother, with your ankle bells with your bracelets on your ankle bells. Hmm? Who was feeding the monkeys? Who creates the monkeys, feeds the monkeys. Krishna was very... Oh, you're a thief. You're a chore. Krishna said, there's no chore in my dynasty. Hmm? What? Because he heard his mother and father speaking, and in the, in the dynasty of Madhya Shoda, there was one person called Chor Gosh. Hmm? So there's no chore in my dynasty. Maybe there's a chore in your dynasty. <laughs> Madhya Shoda, okay. Then she thought, Oh, if I take the stick, then he'll be very much afraid and he'll grow up to be maladjusted. Hmm? So she threw down the stick, but she thought, I must punish him, let me tie him with a rope. So she brought him inside and she thought, Krishna was stealing butter, but he had one accomplice. That was the grinding mortar. He was standing on the grinding mortar to steal the butter. So both of them are guilty, they should be punished by being tied together. So Madhya Yashoda, she called for her sakis to bring some rope and she took the rope and put it around Krishna. But when she came to tie it, it was two fingers too short. Hmm? So she took another rope, tied it together, again put it around, again two fingers too short. She took all the ropes in the house, tied them together, again two fingers too short. She told her friends, go to your house, bring some ropes from there. They came, all the ropes in the whole of Braj, every rope was tied together. Again, two fingers too short. So Srila Gurudev is saying, what is the meaning, what is the significance of two fingers too short? It means that Krishna can only be bound by praying. And in order to attain praying, our own endeavors will not be enough. We have to do sadhan, but sadhan will not be enough. We need kripa, Krishna's mercy. So Krishna's mercy will come. But if one will sit around all day waiting for it to come, also it will not come. Hmm? So both things are required. Sadhan, our own practices, and in addition to that, Kripa. These are two fingers, whereby Krishna can be bound. So an example is given. Two types of logic. Marjanyai and Marakatanyai. Cat logic, kitten logic, sorry, and monkey logic. You know that the, the kitten is carried here and there by the mother. Kitten can sleep, and the mother takes the kitten in the mouth and carries him here and there. But the monkey, the baby monkey, has to hold on tight to the monk mother, and the mother will not do anything. She will jump from tree to tree, and she will not do anything. The baby monkey will have to hold on very tight. Hmm? And if he will drop, oh, unqualified baby, never mind, go to the next tree. Hmm? So the baby monkey has to do everything, and the baby kitten has to do nothing. So some people think, Oh, by our sudden, we do everything to, to attain God. And some people think we cannot do anything. We can only say, Oh, when will God give be merciful to me? But the real answer is, combination of both ideas. So that is given by the example, if a man has fallen into a well, and someone will come with a rope, and throw the rope, say, Oh, catch this rope, I'll pull you out. Hmm? If the man doesn't hold the rope, he cannot be pulled out. But if he holds the rope very tightly, and the other person does not pull, hmm, then also he will not come out. So the holding on to the rope means our sadhan, our practices, to follow the order of Guru and Vaishnav. Hmm? But it is not enough. When we are following them, then only by their mercy can they pull us out. So we try to do our sadhan, and Srila Gurudev, by his mercy, he pulls us out of the well of this material world to send us back home to Galoka Vrindavan. In this Bhagavad Katha, there are so many hidden things 
और गोस्वामी हैज रिवेल्ड दिस टू होल्ड वर्ल्ड मदर जशोदा वाई दिस इज टोल्ड इन श्रीमद भागवत दास देव हैज टोल्ड Hearing these post-sweet past times, a grief may come to such Krishna like Mother Jasoda. This her kathas are so, so sweet and powerful, very sweet for karna rasayan, and if meaning is known, then heart rasayan. So a great must come. After that, the three past times of Krishna with Gopis will come. Rasleela will come. Gopi Geet will come. Brahma Geet will come. Uddhav Sandeesh will come. So many things will come. Then hearing all these things. A greed must come. This is the specialty of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Rup Goswami followers. If they will hear this katha, powerful katha, they will remember these things, and Krishna will be controlled by this. That is why it has been written. श्रीमद भागवत स्पेशली चैतन्य महाप्रभु के मर्सीफुली करुणया वतीर्ण कलौ इन दिस कलयुग चैतन्य महाप्रभु के मर्सीफुली टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट वर्क उन्नत उज्ज्वल रसान श्री भक्ति श्रियम श्री भक्ति उन्नत उज्ज्वल पार्थी भाव द मोड ऑफ गोपी एस्पेशली श्रीमती राधिका मदरनाथ का भाव अप टू वी कैन नॉट अप टेन मदरनाथ का भाव बट समथिंग लाइक मंजरी दैट चैतन्य महाप्रभु मस्से फुली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दिस वर्ल्ड न्यू थिंग Before that, Ramanu, Madhva Chat, Vishnu Swami, Nimba Dikte, Jayadev Goswami, and so many came in this world, but they have not distributed this pain. Inspired, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inspired in the heart of Rupa Goswami, and then he tried and see Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Thapitam Jain Bhutale. स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा सतदा देखा श्री चैतन्य महा एस्टैब्लिश इन हिज बुक्स इन भक्ति रसा में सिंधु उज्ज्वल हैज मेड दी पारिभाषिक श्लोक्स डेफिनेशन लाइक इन चैत श्रीमद भागवत एके चांस कला पुंस कृष्णस्तु भगवान इन दिस वे रूप गोस्वामी व्हाट इज श्रद्धा व्हाट इज निष्ठा व्हाट इज रति व्हाट इज आशक्ति व्हाट इज रति व्हाट इज प्रेम What is snee, man, prane, rag, anurag, bhav, maham? He has made all definition. So whole world, all the sampradaya, even Maya Badi also, they quote Rupa Goswami. Otherwise, they can establish their books. We are very lucky to come in his line, try to hmm, have that mood. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given. That is why, in two slokes, everything has been told. First, Tattva, where 
अमनाय प्राह तत्व हरिमीह परमम सर्वशक्ति रसाधिम तदभिनान शास्त्र जीवान प्रकृति का बलिदान तदभिमुक्षल भावां भेदा भेद शकलम अपि हरे साधनम सुख भक्तिम साधन तत्प्रीति में में इत्ति बदसी पूरा ओह ये सब एक्सप्लेन दिस इस लोग Srila Gurudev is citing the shloka from which is written by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. It's called Dasmul Tattva. Dasmul means the ten essential truths or principles. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's entire philosophy that he presented to the world is unique in this regard. And the Acharyas have uh, seen that these ten uh, principles are the main presentation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy. So first of all, Abnaya Praha Tatvam Harim Iha Paramam Sarva Shaktim Rasabdim. First, he begins with Abnaya. Abnaya is referring to the uh, proof or the praman by which the other nine truths will be proven and established. Amnaya, it means the Vedic truths which have come from the Vedas and uh, Upanishads, Puranas, etc. received through the Sampradaya of the Guru Parampara, Disciplic Succession, and approved by them. Which means that not necessarily all of the statements of the Vedas are accepted in this context of Amnaya because in some of the Vedic literatures they are written for those who are in the even in the Tamagun uh, and some for Rajagun like this some of the Vedic literatures are encouraging persons to worship Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma or different demigods but only the teachings of the Vedas which, which are uh, pro proving these nine different essential principles that is called Amnaya so what are those principles? Amnaya praha tatvam harim iha paramam sarva shaktim rasabdhim. That Sri Hari, Supreme Personality of Godhead, is Hari, Krishna. And He is the paramam. He is the supreme truth. Tatva paramam. And sarva shaktim. He is the source of all potencies, everything that exists, all energies, all shaktis, they are emanations from Him. Rasabdhim. He Himself is the unlimited, infinite ocean of transcendental rasa. Rasa abdhi. So the, just as in the Vedas it is stated, akil rasamrita murti, that that absolute truth, Sri Krishna, is the very embodiment, personification of all rasa. So then, tadvinam shams jajiva, Prakriti kavalitam tadvimuktam shchabhavat. Then it explains that the uh, jiva souls who are within this world are called vibhinamsha jivas. Uh, they are separated parts and parcels of Krishna. That supreme absolute truth Hari expands himself in unlimited incarnations and expansions, which are all called spamsha. They are none different than his own self. They are one supreme tattva. Just like the other day, uh, we were discussing this point about Krishna being advai gyan para tattva. Uh, the supreme, one, undivided, supreme absolute truth, and everything that exists ultimately is himself. But in the context of understanding the jiva souls, they are called vibhinam jivas. They are uh, separated parts and parcels and they have some difference with Krishna. In quality, they are uh, very minute, whereas Krishna is infinite. Uh, in qu sorry, in quantity they are minute. Krishna is infinite in quantity. But in quality, they are the same as Krishna. So, 
prakriti kavalitam tadvinam sham shajivam prakriti kavalitam tadvimuktam shabhava. And in this category of jivas, there are two types. Some of them are covered by prakriti, that means maya shakti, this material energy. All the jiva souls within the material worlds, they are all covered by this material energy in the form of the gross material body which we possess and the subtle material body of mind, intelligence and false ego, ahankar. So these conditioned souls, they are constitutionally the same as the eternally liberated souls, but because they are emanating from the tatashta position, the marginal position between the spiritual world and the material world, uh, they can go either direction. So in the two categories of jivas, some are covered by prakriti and some tadvimuktam shabhava, some are eternally liberated. They are never touched by this external potency. Then, beda beda prakasham sakalam api sadhanam shudha bhaktim. Beda beda prakasham. This is the very unique presentation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, which takes into consideration all of the previous commentaries of all the four Vaishnava Acharyas, uh, Ramanuja, Madhvacharya, Vishnuswami and Nimbhaditya. These four Acharyas they gave their commentaries on Vedanta Sutra. And there they discussed this question about the difference and the non-difference of ourselves, the living entities, within our relationship with the Supreme Absolute uh, Being. So, but they had some uh, different perspectives from which they were viewing. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he gave the perfect understanding of Vedanta philosophy in the form of Achintya Beda Ved Tattva. This means that the Absolute Truth is actually simultaneously different and also non-different from his emanations. And this very fact, being simultaneously different and non-different, is not actually possible to understand with the material mind. Therefore it is called achintya, inconceivable. So, the uh, absolute truth is eternally different than his emanations, his shakti, because he himself, he never changes. He is, not, he is constantly the same, the absolute truth. But his shakti, this transforms into so many other varieties of forms and shapes. So Krishna and his shakti, shakti shakti mator abeda. Ultimately there is no difference between Krishna and his shakti. Just like the sun is not different than the sun rays. The sun rays have heat and light and the sun also has heat and light. And there is no meaning to the existence of the uh, sun without the sun rays and vice versa also. They exist simultaneously. But at the same time there is a difference because the sun globe is unlimitedly powerful and very uh, full of fiery uh, burning power. If you have the sun globe near to our planet, everything will be burnt. But through the sun rays, very nice heating can come from that. So there is a difference in quantity of potency. So like this, achintya beda bed tattva is the essential understanding that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave in this world to understand the whole truth of the Vedic philosophy and absolute truth. So, Beda Beda Prakasham Sakalam Api Sadhanam Shuddha Bhaktim. How to realize the Supreme Absolute Truth, Krishna? How to come to establish one's relationship with Him and how to attain one's eternal position as a servant of His? which is actually the constitutional position of every jiva soul, that jivair sarupoy krishner nityadas. They are all eternal servants of Krishna. So therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained in his philosophy that the process, the sadhanam, the method by which the jiva soul can attain this position is called shuddha bhakti. Pure devotion, pure love 
for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This week we had so many discussions about this subject, and just now also, Srila Gurudev, Prem Prayojan Prabhu, explained this verse, Anya Bilashi Tashunyam, and how this understanding, what is the definition of pure bhakti? So, without understanding this, what is pure bhakti? Someone may attempt to approach the Absolute Truth, but they'll be unsuccessful. Because if they mix any other motivations into their attempt to approach the Supreme Truth, jnana, karma, if their bhakti is covered by any of those, they'll not be successful. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, sadhanam shudha bhaktim, that the process is to perform pure bhakti, uttam bhakti, unalloyed bhakti. And then, tat, tat priti, I forget the last line. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sadhya tat priti. So, the final principle in this dasmul tattva is called sadhya. Sadhya is that goal which, through which, through the sadhan that you're performing, you are aiming for, your aim and object of your practice. It is called sadhya. So what is sadhya? Sadhya is priti. This Sanskrit word priti means pure love, or in other words, prem, Krishna prem. So priti is actually the ultimate goal of every jiva soul's existence and life. And no jiva soul can ultimately live without this even for a moment. Therefore, even within this world, everyone is searching for love, searching for affection, trying to establish so many relationships. But ultimately, the constitutional nature of the soul is to attain pure, divine Krishna Prem, love, preeti, and affection for the Absolute Truth. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came exclusively to declare this fact to the whole uh, human society, that ordinarily there are four goals given in the Vedas, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. That means Dharma, religiosity, Artha, economic development, Kama, sense gratification, and moksha, ultimately attaining liberation from the cycle of birth and death. But, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said that there is a fifth goal for all human beings, and what is that? Prema Pumarto Mahan. This is the great ultimate goal of all human society. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and demonstrated this. He is Prem Purushottam. Who is he? He is Sri Sri Radha and Krishna combined in one form. And he is actually Nanda Nanda Krishna completely overwhelmed by the mood and the bhav and kanti of Srimati Radharani, who as Srila Gurudev just told, is the, uh, the Unna to Ujjvala Rasa. She is the queen of Vrindavan who serves Krishna in the highest way in Parakya Bhav. <clears throat> so Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came into this world to give this highest form of Krishna praying, but it cannot be directly given what those moods and that Mahabhav praying and Madanakya Mahabhav, which is experienced by Srimati Radharani, uh, the jiva souls do not have the eligibility for this praying because of their small constitutional nature. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, as Srila Gurudev so wonderfully described, to give this very special variety of this Krishna praying as Swa Bhakti Shriyam. Hare Krishna. Second is for the Aradho Bhagavan Pradesh Tanayastad Dham Vrindavan Ramya Kachitu Parsana Badu Badu Parage Naja Kalkita Srimad Bhagavata Pramana Amalam Prema Kumartho Maha Sri Chaitanya Maha Prabhur Matamidam Tatradaro Nahapara Nahapara Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling. Who is telling? Chakrabarti Thakur. Vishwana Chakrabarti Thakur. First was Bhai Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhai Tattva. And now he is giving through Rasha. Rasha Tattva. 
अरभ्यो भगवान प्रति सतनय और आराध्य देव वर्षिपल मोस्ट वर्षिपल इज कृष्ण नो प्रजेन्द्र नंदन कृष्ण जशोदा नंदन कृष्ण आराधिका रमन राष बिहारी कृष्ण राधा काम तो ही इज भगवान बट ही हैज कम एज ए सन ऑफ नंद बाबा जशोदा मैया ही इज मोस्ट बिलवेड ऑफ गोपीज एस्पेशली ऑफ श्रीमती राधिका एज कृष्ण इज वर्स पेबल वृंदावन धाम इज ऑल्सो बिकॉज विदाउट वृंदावन कृष्ण कैन एट प्ले एनी वेर इन सब ही कैन प्ले इन अदर फॉर्म्स बट नंदन विथ गोपीज वनली वृंदावन धाम वॉट इज वृंदावन कृष्ण हैज बिकम धाम वृंदावन धाम एस्पेशली बलदेव प्रभु इज धाम सो कृष्ण इज आराध्य हु इज प्लेइंग ऑलवेज इन वृंदावन विथ ब्रिजवासी स्पेशली विथ गोपीज रम्या काचित उपासना बजू बधु पर गई न जा कल पिता हाउ गोपीज है वर्षिप लैंड प्लीज कृष्ण This is the highest aradhana upasana. Anything is not equal to this aradhana. Even Uddha, like Bhakt of Krishna, he has prayed gopis at prefer. Even the the uh, ladies of इवन दी मथुरा इन दी रेस्लिंग कंस वेन दे सा फाइटिंग सो मच दैत्य एंड देन दे बिगैन टू टेल विशुद्ध नट इज के हियर दो थर्मात्मा रिलीजियस पर्सन दे शुड गिव अप दिस प्लेस and then they are telling how vrindavan is glory glorious because of gopis rudh bhava they have rudh bhav rudh bhav means sneh man pranay raag anurag vidha any far you can see without gopis so the upasana the aradhana of gopi that they can take the heart of krishna and control by their love and affection krishna cannot repay them never he is telling for na pare ham nirvadya sanjujan ma bhajan te durjan grih shrinkala samvrishya tatva pratyat sadhana o gopis my boss beloved i cannot repay in Life of Brahma or more than that? Never. You should please mercifully to me. I cannot do. How we can do? If Krishna will tell them, oh, you should have any broom, broom, broom. What they go for? Will ma? No. Ask. Oh, we can. Any service you should be, not for their pleasure, or oh, only to please Krishna. Then Krishna, Gopis will tell, as we have left our whole family, our husband, son, and everything, only for you. Can you give up everything, your mother, father, and all devotees, for us? Krishna cannot do. He cannot do. He cannot give up any bhakta. So he went also to Mathura, here and there. Where they will call, he must go. 
जे जथान माम पर पदंती ताम तथा अजाम में हम इज बाउंड टू डू सो ही कृष्ण कैनट टू सो आराधना गोपी इज सुपर मोस्ट एंड प्रेम टू कृष्ण इज मोस्ट सुप्रिय वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी मल्ली कृष्ण कंस जरासन दैन सो मेनी सॉ कृष्ण दुर्योधन सॉ वॉट वी कैन इफ देर इज नो प्रेम सो अवर प्रयोजन इज प्रेम नॉट कृष्ण सो यू शुड नो ऑल दीज थिंग चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज टेलिंग दैट प्रमाण इज श्री मधुभागवतम एवं और श्रुति वेद उपनिषद पुराण महाभारत रामायण एफ्री फेयर द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल श्रुति ऑल पुराण ब्रह्मसूत्र एवरीथिंग इज श्रीमद भागवतम तो श्रीमद भागवतम प्रमाण अमलम दिस इज अमल अमल में चैतन्य महापुरुष दिस इज दिस चीज टीचिंग and in the art i want to tell you the sub and substance of all the teachings that rup goshami has written tan naam rup tan naam sukirtanaanu kramena rasana manasi niyojya tisthan brade tadanuragi jananugami कालम नयेति खिलाम इत्युपदेश सारा रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग तन नाम रूप चरितादि द कृष्ण नेम ऑफ ब्रज इज अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज पास स्वीट पास टाइम्स दामोदर जशोदा दामोदर और राधा दामोदर Yashoda mother binded him, and Gopis binded Krishna with the veil of Radhika. In Gatholi, there is a place in Braja. Gatholi, man, that Krishna cannot go here and there. He will always be with you. So he is Radha Damodar. Namam Ishwaram. is for jasoda damoda and in the end is slow what here namo radhikaaye tadiya priyaaye namo nanta lilaaye devaaye so this is our goal so he is telling that you should chant these names damoda rash bihari when he is doing rash and so many things all names due to his sweet past times all these names and and na naam roop gun leela all in mind in heart by turn you should chant all these names sing all these names and in the heart you should remember this sweet past times of krishna tan naam roop chaitadi sukrtananu hearing from any bona fide guru or vaishnavas in their guidance those who are rasik tatva knowing all kinds of tatva being especially in vrindavan If you cannot be in Vrindavan, by mind you can be there. But better, one day you will have to go to Vrindavan. Huh? So you will have to go to Vrindavan. Hmm. But if you cannot go, by mind you should be always in Vrindavan. Oh, meditate. Vrindavan is very beautiful. Jamna is flowing there. Both side, belly, chavelli, jui, banda devi, flowers, bees are hanging, kakuja singing, 
पिकॉक्स आर डांसिंग कृष्ण इज प्लेइंग देयर विदाउट पिंडा वन यू कैन सो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दीज थिंग्स तन नाम रूप चरितादि सुख तनानु क्रमेण रसना मनसी नियोज्य स्थन ब्रजे ब्रज में रहते हुए बींग इन वृंदावन तिष्ठन ब्रजे तदानुरागी यू शुड बी इन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ एनी राशि कैन तत्व गोवैष्ण डोंट लिव फ्री यू मस्ट बी अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ तत्व कैन राशि एंड इफ यू आर डूइंग लाइक सो वेरी सोन कृष्ण प्रेम गोपी प्रेम ब्रिज प्रेम विलकम दिस इज द लास्ट एसेंस ऑफ ऑल दी ऑल दी टीचिंग्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु गौ प्रमाण एनी कृतन एंड देन श्री कृष्ण गोपाल हरे मुकु गोविंद हे नंद किशोर कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गोपाल हरे मुकुंद गोविंद हे नंद किशोर कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गोपाल हरे मुकुंद गोविंद हे नंद किशोर कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गोपाल हरे मुकुंद गोविंद हे नंद किशोर
Hare Krishna, today Shiva Guru Dev has given some initiation. Now we announce your new spiritual name. Quickly, you should name. Nicholas Keller, please stand up. Nanda Gopal Prabhu Ki this morning. Anju Singhal receiving Harinam this morning. Anju. Anjali. Anjali Devi Ki Then from New Jersey, New York, Ajoy Pandey receiving initiation. Asya Pandey. Sunita Pandey and Nilam Da. Stand up. Ajay. Asalata. Asalata ki. Sunita Devi Ki Nilam Devi Ki The devotees who were in the fire sacrifice while Bhagavan Prabhu will make some presentation. Please carefully come forward and offer your Dakshina to Srila Gurudev. Hare Krishna. So, unfortunately, this uh, wonderful Harikata will temporarily <laughs> come to a close. Just shifting to a new place. We'll be shifting to LA and Badger and many other places. Sri Guru Dave will be bringing his Harikata caravan from one place to another around the world. Traveling roadshow. Just like Krishna is traveling from universe to universe, Guru Dave is traveling. <laughs> throughout this universe, throughout this planet, giving us Harikata. There were many devotees who uh, worked together with uh, myself and Mahabudi in order to, uh, to uh, put on this festival. It was uh, a big endeavor, but to see so many devotees come here and get Srila Gurudev's mercy was uh, a big reward for both of us. I wanted to name a few of the people that worked with me and uh, also Mahabudi wants to name some of the people that work. We want to point out some of the devotees that helped out here in the Prashadam area. We want to give a great thanks to Anadi Krishnadas, 
who helps supervise the prescribed distribution of three times a day. Also, Lakshmi Pati Das, who helped with prescribed distribution every day. Gaya Dev Das, who helped with prescribed distribution every day. Udaram Das, who did prescribed distribution every day along with his wife. Is that a new name? I don't know the new name yet. I apologize. Our two security persons who... Toughest job. Toughest job. Most difficult job. <laughs> Sanatan Das and Madhusudan Das. I want to give them a big hand for the work they did with their security group. I also want to thank Jalakar Prabhu for giving, loaning us the Vyasa San and Tri Lochan Prabhu for taking the responsibility of driving it here and driving it back. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I also want to thank Isha Das, who spends every minute that he's awake practically working hard on organizing Srila Guru Dave's uh, videos, the DVDs, the lectures, and he came here to do the webcasting. And I mean, the guy, he does a great service. All the devotees should go to the webcasting and make a little donation to help Isha Das, who works for absolutely nothing, just the service of Shirley Guru David and Joseph. He did the whole webcasting. Uh, I want to also thank Shama Sundar and Bhakti Vinod for doing filming. Uh, they did a lot of filming and assistance with uh, Isha Das. I want to thank Shama Sundar and his good wife, Bimala Dasi, for the great job they did on taking care of the deities and being with the daughters. And we want to give a uh, big round of applause, of course, to our favorite Kirtaniya, Krishna Das. For the great Kirtan that he did. And I also want to personally thank Indupati, who did led the San Kirtan party out for three days, distributing about 500 different literatures and over 500 bags of prasadam to the conditioned souls out on the beaches. Great service that he did doing the San Kirtan every day. And uh, another prasad person was Parmananda Das. I want to thank him for the prasad favor that he did. Now I'm going to hand this over to Mahabudi because he's got a list of people that he wants to list. Hare Krishna. Srila Guru David asked, we had some question of what about the festival we had called him because there were some concerns about his health at that time. And we heard from the background the yelling, coming back, is, no, I want big festival. So Bhagavad and I were kind of going, uh oh. <laughs> Are you going to come? He said, yes, I will come. Why I won't come? I will come. Guru Dev said, because both Bhagavad Prabhu and Mahabudi are very big personalities. This should be the biggest festival ever. <laughs> there you go. So, first of all and foremost, I'd like to thank Shila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, who Without his presence, no one would be here. And with who can have so kindly taken the opportunity to give us his association. And we are so thankful and so grateful. The devotees of South Florida have had opportunities of association for April and May. So we, we, for us now it is growing very sad. Even though he's here, the thought of his going is making us tremble. So we're hoping that he will come back again sometime and visit with us. So I pray. So there are also some uh, devotees who have to be mentioned. They're, who This festival would not be actually a festival without their help. And Bhagavad Prabhu would listen to some of the devotees. Some of these devotees will list here are put their time and effort and money and everything to make this happen so all of these guests could come and hear Shri Gurudev. And not only Shri Gurudev, but I also would like to thank all of our sannyasis 
and and Kripurjan and all of the Sanyasis, Padmanabh Maharaj, Arsajan Maharaj, Madhav Maharaj, Shoti Maharaj, Ramadhar Maharaj, Radandi Maharaj, our sincere thanks and gratitude because the the not only was Shila Kid. Not only was the opportunity to festival that we're hearing so much wonderful things from Shiloh Brude, but those of you who attended classes, the classes were wonderful. None of the classes in Kirtan. So our gratitude, please, goes out and thanks very from the court of our hearts for, for visiting with us here and allowing us also to have your darshan and have your, your lotus lips that you heard from Shiloh Brude. So we very much thank you all. Second, please, because I don't think that, that I may have been taking too much time. But if I don't mention some of these devotees, I will be a very offensive because this affair, this whole, this whole opportunity is come by the work. I'd like to thank. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Radhasham and Yasoda Dasi for registration, uh, Pulari Dasi for the books, uh, Jagannath and Balaram Das who transported all the devotees along with Raghunath to get here. Uh, Jamuna Dasi, and I think the Lopadev Das, who served all of the all of the sannyasis and all of our guests here, must have went to Publix about 50 times the time here, helping everyone. Leela Nath Prabhu, uh, and now the, there's two families, there are three families here that are the cornerstones of here. Uh, Shashi Kalan Raghunath Das, and then and Kamala and Vasudev Das, who put in their time running. And also we would like to thank Raghunath Prabhu, and Miami, who actually hosted Children's Day for an entire month. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. And Sudarshan Prabhu, who helped with all the sound system. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Thank you for coming and visiting the webcast live from South Florida. Radhe Sham Jai Shri Gurudev.